What is going on YouTube? Professor X8 here, welcome you back to episode 46 of our Origin Platinum Windows Lock Let's Play. It's going to be one of, if not the penultimate episode. Today we're going to be taking on the last two members of the Elite Four, setting, us so, no, setting ourselves up for that final challenge, that final Elite Four Champion Challenge against Cynthia, which will be in tomorrow's episode. But before we do anything else, let's quickly have a recap of the squad so that you know who is on the team. They're all fully healed up from our last fight. So let's have a quick look. Currently out front, we have Lucky, our Dragonite. Who knows Dragon Dance, Dragon Rush, Surf and Waterfall. Next up is Edison, our Luxray, who knows Discharge, Crunch, Strength and Thunder. Following him, we have Gamora, our Tyranitar. I was going to say Pupitar. Who knows Crunch, Stone Edge, Rock Slide, and Earthquake. Next up is PSI, our Alakazam. Who knows Psychic, Shockwave, Reflect, Recover. Following her, uh, him, I think, we have Abyss, uh, uh, Giratina, who knows Fly, Rock Climb, Dragon Claw, and Shadow Force. And rounding out the squad, we've got Bastard on our Mama Swine, who knows Rock Smash, Earthquake, Ice Shard, and Avalanche. So coming up next, we have... Uh, I think we have Flint. And I think he is... Uh, he, oh, I know. He is a... Um, he is a fire type trainer, so we are going to be leading with Lucky uh, because it will get us uh, a significant advantage. We'll probably be able to drop a couple of Dragon Dancers and we might be able to sweep again like we did just last episode against Nertha. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we've got a few Pokemon in the back who can still st step up and help us take out some of his team. So let's, uh, let's get on with that. And uh, whilst we're talking... Why don't I just mention to you about our next Nuzlocke that will be starting probably on, what day is it? No, it's Wednesday. So it will probably be started on Friday and it will be our Pokemon Sun Oaklock. It's a combination of an Egglock and a Wonderlock. If you haven't watched the first episode, then go do it. I outline all of the rules that I'll be following in there. Uh, otherwise, you know, uh, this episode two, which will be when we're really kicking things off, is when we're picking up our starter. Hopefully we'll be able to do our first Wonder Trade at some point. Uh, but that will be starting in uh, a couple of in a couple of days. If you want to be, uh, if you'd be in with a chance of receiving one of my Pokemon, I'm going to be Wonder Trained away, or you want to be trying to send me a Pokemon to be using in the playthrough. Follow my Twitter. I will tweet out two minutes before I do a Wonder Trade, so that you guys at home have enough time to jump onto uh, onto Pokemon, get online, and start Wonder Trading away those Pokemon. So let's see, I've got Lucky out front as I mentioned. Let's jump straight into this and take on Flint here. Uh, you managed to line a higher in that guy's heart again. How could you not expect me to look forward to seeing you in battle? Let's go. I don't know what he was doing there, like a little dance or something. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. So Flint, fire type trainer, who's he going to lead with? He is leading with a Houndoom. So let's see, I am going to drop a Dragon Dance immediately. Oh, so one thing I, uh, I maybe should have mentioned, I completely forgot. For some reason the save didn't work last time, so I had to just do the first two members of the Elite Four again. I knocked out the same Pokemon with the same Pokemon, so that hopefully it kept everything aligned. But I've obviously forgot to turn on the battle animations here, so uh, we'll have to deal with that. That's second uh, Dragon Dance there, dropping down. How do we go for the Dark Pulse does... Uh, a reasonable amount to us. I'm going to hit with a waterfall here. Let's see, this should take out the Houndoom. I cannot see it surviving, but who knows? We get the critical hit, definitely wasn't going to survive. So down goes Houndoom, and we go 2272. Lucky hits level 59. Uh, I can't remember what level it is that uh, Lucky actually learns Outrage. Maybe it's 60. That'd be quite nice for the final battle. Anyway, uh, Flareon coming out here. We're just going to go straight again for the Waterfall. Going to see how much damage we do. Hopefully enough to take it down. Uh, we, it actually survives uh, and burns us. Uh, which is rather annoying. I am actually going to go here for the full restore. Unlucky. Uh, let's see what Flareon decides to go for. He's going for the full restore too. So, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. We uh, are back up to full HP. I don't know whether that was a low roll or whether we just aren't quite hitting hard enough. So, I'm actually going to drop another Dragon Dance here. Uh, he does manage to connect with another uh, another Will-O-Wisp. Goes for the quick attack there. We've actually got four Dragon Dances under our belt now. 
Uh, I'm going to drop full heal. Down onto Lucky. Don't need to use that full store just yet. Uh, Flurry, I'll go for the overheat. Well, we should easily knock it out here with this waterfall. Let's wait and see, though. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. Uh, it certainly looks like it isn't. In fact, it is. So down goes Flareon. We are going to gain ourselves 2,332, and I'm probably going to... Okay, no worries. Uh, I just seen that uh, Python had crashed in the background of my computer. I thought it was going to put up an error message on my screen, but it didn't. So, uh, Magmortar up next with his uh, massive... Water like uh, we're getting hit with the waterfall. This is his ace. This should go down in one hit, and it has. So we're uh, blazing through the elite four members here pretty easily. Uh, I think we did end up with quite a powerful team, luckily. So that certainly has helped. Uh, <laughs> that certainly has made it easier. Uh, with Dragon Dance under our belt, unlucky. I don't think much is going to stop us. Uh, we do take out that Rapid Ash as well. Gain ourselves 2,179 XP and his final Pokemon is Inferno. I, uh, we will definitely outspeed it. I don't see us missing, so let's just go for the waterfall. If we miss, then I, I'll be punished for it, but we don't. We connect with the waterfall, and so down goes Inferno. Gain ourselves a tasty, tasty amount of XP. How much do we get? 2,463. And we defeat the second member of the Elite Four. The Flint. Uh, sorry about that. The battle definitely went a lot faster than uh, our first battle did. <laughs> Who'd have thought that the uh, the biggest challenge that we'd have had so far would have been from Bug Type Trader from the very first, very first member of the Elite Four. So what have we got up next? We have a Psychic Type Trader up next. So I think we're gonna lead with Gamora and have Abyss just in the reserves. With uh, with the ghost type moves, so let's uh, let's go. Up, let's see. So what's his name? Is it Lucian? Uh, ah, you timed your arrival. Well, I just finished reading the book. You see, let me introduce myself. I'm Lucian. Yeah, the using the user of the psychic type. I must say you've already proven yourself, but to be outstanding by coming this far, they say I'm the toughest of the elite four. I'm afraid I will have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. Well, that's fine by me, Lucian. You can uh, step up all you like. We are. Uh, Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So he's got Mr. Mime there. Level 53. We've got Gamora out first. Um, the only thing about Mr. Mime is that I know it can have Magical Leaf. He manages to drop a... Uh, he manages to drop a Reflect there, raising his defences, which is rather annoying. He will be buffeted by that sandstorm. He'll probably go for a full store here. There we go. So we're going to... Use another another crunch here. Bait out some of the uh, some of the turns of this reflect. Uh, we don't manage to take it down, but the sandstorm actually may take it down here. Yep, yeah, that goes, Mister Mime. To chip damage from the sandstorm, we gain one thousand five hundred forty-three XP. He's about to shift into a Gallade, so we are going to switch into Abyss here. It's uh, it's the safer move. Uh, Gallade being part fighting. We don't want to be taking too many risks. Uh, I think Gamora's got a four times weakness to fighting, so it really, really wouldn't be the best idea. We're actually going to go for a fly here. Uh, Gallade, go for the Psycho Cut against us. Does a decent amount of damage. We fly up high. Gallade takes a bit of damage there, as do we. He goes for another Psycho Cut, but our fly connect. And hopefully this will do a uh, significant amount of damage. It doesn't do much at all, actually. Um, he's going to get the Citrus Berry proc there. I'm going to go for the Shadow Force. I'm going I'm to need to to pick up this knockout. So uh, their Reflect has finally worn off. So his defences will be halved again. Goes for another Psycho Cut. But we'll miss obviously. As we are currently using Shadow Force. We connect with uh, connect with Shadow Force. And down goes Gallade. Uh, Abyss having tanked all of that damage, to be fair. Uh, we're going to get buffed again. Uh, he's about to send in an Espeon, so we're going to actually have to switch out here. I'm going to have to go to Gamora. I might drop a few Hyper Potions here. Um, I'm going to heal up. 
I'm going to heal up our uh, Abyss. And let's see what this SPR goes for. So obviously him being a Psychic type, Gamora is in uh, very good stead being a Dark type. And uh, it kind of, that kind of nice, oh, signal boom. Okay, we uh, we absolutely tanked that. Um, so yeah, me talking about types, again, nicely kind of brings me in. Last, last episode I asked you guys at home, if you were an Elite Four member, what type of Pokemon would you be training and uh, what your team would be? Well, this time I want to know if you were the champion, what would your team be? Would you have a theme? I know some of the Pokemon tra some of the Pokemon champions have a theme. Obviously, you've got uh, Lance having his dragon theme. You've got Steven uh, with his... I'm about to say bronze on. Uh, you've got Steven with his uh, metal theme, steel theme. So bronze on... Uh, I don't remember whether it has Levitate or Heat Proof. Because if it has Levitate, I can't hit it with Earthquake, which would be super effective. Let me just. One second, guys. Sorry about that, just wanted to grab my phone. I'm going to have a quick look and see what his ability is. So it's uh, Lucian. Oh, so let's see. So it does have levitate, so that's going to make things incredibly annoying for us. I think uh, Abyss is going to actually have to come in here. We're going to have to go for those shadow forces, hope that they hit with. Uh, Enough damage to maybe put it into two hit knockout range. I don't have that much else that I could go for. So let's go for the Shadow Force. Let's see what Bronzog's going for. He's going to start boosting himself annoyingly. We connect with Shadow Force. And... Oh, okay, it does over half. He's just going to sit there and set up, which is fine. I'm going to go for another Shadow Force. He goes to the Psyche. Okay. So this Shadow Force should take it out, luckily, because it was going for Carmine setting up on the special defense side. So down goes Bronzog. We gain 2,175 XP and uh, take a bit of damage from the Sandstorm, but that's fine. He's about to send in Alakazam. So I'm actually going to stay in here, which is maybe, maybe risky. Oh, maybe it was a risk. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's go for the Dragon Claw. He goes for the Psychic. See how much damage it does. Okay, we soak up that psychic damage. We go for the Dragon Claw. It should be uh, enough to take out Alakazam. Obviously, very, very weak on the uh, physical side. So down goes Alakazam. We gain 2,232 XP. And we defeat uh, Elite Four Lucian. Setting us up nicely to be taking on Cynthia in our next battle. So let's, uh, let's heal up first. Let's get everybody back to full HP. Gamora, Lucky and Abyss, no surprises are the, uh, are the three that are putting in the work at the minute. Uh, let's drop there, on to Lucky, uh, yeah, there, then finally on to Abyss. I don't, I, I don't know who I'm going to use first against uh, Cynthia, because I, I, I mean, I think she leads with Rose Raid. In fact, does she leave with military? I can't remember, but anyway, we're going to come up here. And we're going to save up the game. Uh, we're going to save it up here. I know today's episode's been quite a lot shorter than a normal episode would be, but I wanted to split everything up in terms of our league challenge. I didn't want to just be jumping ahead and doing it all at once. I wanted to be getting to the point where we could... Watch a few of the ep watch a few of the battles at a time. I thought the battles would take longer. To be honest, it's what 14 minutes it's taken me to do two of the battles. I thought it might take 20, but uh, apparently Lucky likes to set up and absolutely destroy teams. Who would have thought it? A Dragonite. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you have, then show me some love. Hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know down below what the answer to your the question of the day is and uh yeah if you uh if you want to show me some real love 
hit that subscribe button. There's a little bell icon next to it if you click that. You'll get some notifications whenever I upload a video. Uh, as I mentioned, our next Nuzlocke is our Oakluck, our Pokemon Sun Oakluck. So if you haven't uh, already started following my Twitter, do because then you'll be able to find out when I'm putting out those Wonder Trades. I'm going to try to do it uh, US time between 4 and 6. Um, that's optimistic because I think that would make it uh, UK time 5 Right, plus five hours, so it make it like nine, ten o'clock out here in the UK. Uh, I'll try to aim for that so that you guys at home can be a part of it. Um, obviously, the European, us in Europe, uh, it's a bit late, but people should still be able to get on at that time. Uh, anyway, once again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I've been Professor Oakshade, and just remember, guys, keep on trading.